GoPro turn off. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try this again. My GoPro kept turning off, even if I didn't say the word off. And uh, I wanna show you my bicycle trailer. So this is my bicycle trailer. Um, I made it out of one inch metal beams. These guys right here that I can buy at Harbor Freight. Uh, lots of bolts. This is my front end. This is a kid trailer down here that I cut off to have a front end swivel with a 12 inch tire with a hitch. You can see that my hitch is bolted down so that way nobody can try to steal my fat moto. This is my fat moto. Um, this fat moto has a Honda six horsepower 190 cc honda now this was quite the invention right here to to uh fabricate i had to cut out the old beam where the engine went and i had to create this one i made this out of a street sign um, i'm not driving it at the moment because it's broken you can see the u-bolts right there uh the frame broke when i was coming back from la I was about 120 miles from San Rafael, and I came up with this U-bolt strategy, but I drilled some holes in there with my little cheap generator over here. It's my little cheap generator. I paid a couple hundred bucks for it. It's only 800 watt, but listen to that hum. Like a fucking champion. Anyways, I drilled some holes on that. We got a, a Jerry Garcia sticker up front. It's pretty fucking sweet. It's also painted kind of like the Dukes of Hazard. I never really finished this one. So it's basically a Confederate pot leaf, Confederate flag with pot leaves. And it's called the General Weed 01, just like the Dukes of Hazard. Besides, every time that this bike um, went through an upgrade, it changed its color. Originally it was yellow, then the first time it was the general weed, you can see right here, it was orange. That was with the five horsepower engine, and then when I got the six horsepower engine, the color of the bike changed again. Let's get back to this trailer. So this netting came out of a trailer, which I can roll up like this, and then it clips like this. This keeps the mosquitoes out. This is the window for my dog. She's back in here. Rhapsody! Gonna come poke your head out the window? She says no, but she's in here sleeping. And then I can drop that down. That keeps the flies and mosquitoes out. It also has a top port to close it down to keep the rain out. I've had this trailer for about, I don't know, a year and a half like this. It's made out of corrugated plastic, PVC, um, some aluminum with a steel frame. I showed you the frame. This outside wall uh, I added to make it for a movie screen projectors. You can see the inside here. Uh, so it has two walls. This actually really knocks the heat down. In the back here, this opens up. I have another mosquito net right here. And if you go all the way down into the floor, you'll notice I have another compartment. In this compartment, I have my movie projectors. I'm also a big Steal Your Face fan. On this side of the trailer, you can see more of these beams, which I use to create the frame of this trailer. I've modified it about five or six times. Um, it has a top storage compartment. And this is my side compartment where I keep stuff like my gasoline for the engine, dog treats, sugar, paint, my uh, frying pan, my spatula, my mask. Have you guys seen how my mask looks? This thing's a gangster. Let's put you right there. Let's take this off. Take my shades off. I made this mask because somebody stole my Corona mask, which I had right on top of my trailer over here, but somebody decided to take it, so I built this. My friend said it looked like a monkey face, so I made it a baboon. Oh yeah. And uh, 
Yeah, you, oh yeah, and then you can see, this is the PVC pipes, and they stretch out like this, and they go down, they go out and down like that. This is my other netting on the door side. This is a netting, and you can fold it and roll it up to above this seam right here where I have some buckles and straps. This used to be a little bit of an awning, and I had to cut it off to add this. If I still have this in the rainy season, I'll add an awning up here to the top. But that's my trailer. These doors close. These doors close in like this. So when we're going down the road, it's aerodynamic. And I can buckle, I can buckle and strap these two. I just wanted to show you guys my trailer that I live in, I travel in. I've taken this trailer, I've taken this trailer to uh, Humboldt County. Um, it's been down Highway 1, it's been down the 101, it's been to Berkeley, I live in the west side of the bay, it's been across the Golden Gate Bridge, it's been across the Richmond Bridge, it's been down the highway on the east side of the bay, it's been down the 101 through San Francisco, up and through Daly City, it's been down the 1 through San Francisco, through Daly City, down Pacifica, through Half Moon Bay into Santa Cruz, to Sausalino, to Monterey, and it's also crossed back from the 101 up into Sausalino, or into Salinas, excuse me, across over back towards Santa Cruz. Um, I believe I probably got about five to 8,000 miles on this frame. And I forgot to show you another broken spot on my fat moto since I, I built this frame, this frame right here to adjust into it. So I drilled two holes into the frame and you can see there's no chain because I said it's not running but this crack right here which runs down the back so when they created the first fat moto I got the 2019 model they didn't make these expand out and they didn't have disc brake back rims now they come with disc brake back rims the problem was that this right here was always super close to the frame and it would cut through the frame so I'm the pioneer to the fat moto bikes. I was one of the first people to get one. Oh, it looks like my bearings have come out over here. Wow, look at that. There ain't no bearings left. Well, good thing I'm not driving this thing. Anyways, that's my video for the day. Peace out.